Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we are working on a 2019 Audi Q5. It was involved in a front end collision and the body shop wanted us to take a look at it. And um, we, I diagnosed it as a headlamp control module and we are trying to adapt a new one. The only catch is that, well, our Otis is down. That is the factory scan tool. Uh, we have, you know, <laughs> the usual hardware certificate stuff. Uh, the computer went through an update and um, it went haywire and right when we needed it the most is when uh, it started acting up. So uh, this is going to be the inauguration of a new tool that has not been on this channel before. It is the Top Don Phoenix Max. It is the flagship Top Don scan tool. It is the big boy scan tool. It is one beast, I mean one beast looking thing. Um, we're going to give it a shot for the first time. We're actually going to use the video recorder as well in it. We're going to go ahead and start scanning this thing. I've got my maintainer already set up to the car. And we're just going to try to see if we can code the headlamp. Uh, is, it is the left front headlamp module. And um, I all the scan tools that I've tried so far, all the aftermarket ones that I've tried so far, have not been successful in doing it. So... Let's see if the Top Down Max pulls through. That would be amazing and uh, it would speak volumes as to the, its capability. But first, let's go ahead and do a smart scan. We are supposed to lift the hood, uh, open the hood to go through the firewall on these modern vehicles nowadays for those of you who don't know that already. We're gonna do a quick scan. And I had this over the weekend. It is now Monday. Had this over the weekend fully updated it to the best of my abilities got familiar with the tool not you know it's nothing replaces actually working on a car but um, it is a very impressive scan tool so far hopefully we could get this one done we're almost done with our scan if you look at the topology you gotta love the topology view I gotta tell you I haven't checked this against uh, factory info but I'm you know fairly certain it's fine go to report it asks us to put repair information this I, I like to skip all this stuff too and um, let's see what our scan shows uh, pre-scan generating report and just so you guys can see the codes that are in there nice I like that it shows us the software numbers hardware numbers all that stuff in the scan and the code long code we've got data bus error value received and control module for light activation left no communication and I want to go to the left light control no description data record invalid now can't say I've done one on this year. Uh, usually when I see like new modules, you see basic settings not met or not uh, set or whatnot, or coding, invalid coding or whatnot, but I have not seen a data record before. But we're gonna see what the scan tool could do if it could fix it for us. So let's go to online functions. I would, I would Im imagine that's supposed to be it. Online coding. I mean, usually using Otis, you have you go to the SVM and, and call it a day. But with this, we're still trying to see what is going to take, what what the wording is. The terminology is a little different. So left light control, click to code. Let's see if it'll code it. So no code is found from the database. Maybe there's something else going on uh, where it doesn't need to be coded. Like I said, usually when I see a new module, it would uh, tell me to look for, I mean, usually it would show codes for incorrect coding or whatnot, but let's see if there's any other options. Maybe it's not through online coding. Maybe it's through something else, online matching and calibration or parametric configuration. Like I said, is this very different from the factory scan tool? Factory scan tool, you you go to the um, 
left flight control click to reprogram you go to the uh, SVM and um, it'll do everything for you it, it does it all for you so let's see this is the first time I ever use uh, this tool on a car I've done the pre-scan on this car already before but this is the first time I actually put it into action or anything really programming related um, especially when we need online access to the uh, the server the, the Germany server Audi server so let's see error code 79 probably something that I can't do anything with anyway so data record something about data record that's weird Okay, succeeded to request the server and upload file. Maybe it's it's trying different avenues. Different servers. This is all risky business to be honest with you because like yeah, the aftermarket is awesome. I love it when they catch up and get things done for us, but at the same time there's always that risk. I was doing something and I heard a click. <laughs> and things are happening. Turn off ignition and wait for 30 seconds. We're going to wait our 30 seconds. And then turn it on again. So it looks like something is happening. <laughs> we'll know once that code clears, we're good to go. Okay, that's about 30 seconds. Hit OK. Do you want to clear fault memory? Sure, why not? It'll come right back if it didn't work. Um, it's one of those one of those codes it's, it's a hard fault it'll come right back so this is the little module that we're talking about this is what we changed that little that little one you won't be able to see much but there is corrosion in the pins but yeah that little one it's causing our troubles here <laughs> all right It has data set number of ECU data container and data container number. It was all dashes, and now it finally has after the update something going on there. Uh, equipment code, no VIN code. We got some phases. Cool, that's good for us, right? So let's see if the code is there. Yes. It has been reprogrammed. Reading fault codes. No fault code. Does it work? It works. Everything works. <laughs> oh my goodness. Phoenix, Phoenix Max for the win. Where Otis was the only option. And that is a tutorial on how to adapt a new headlamp control module on a 2019 Audi Q5. Let's do our scan again, and yes, smart scan again, and wow, I am incredibly pleased with this, this is huge. Like I said, I've tried other scan tools, very well known scan tools, I'm not going to name names, but they none of them could touch it, none of them could touch it. This is huge. But let's see if our code cleared. I'm gonna do a another cycle, turn off the ignition, turn it on, turn everything on. But last time, before all this, the headlamp was not working. That's for sure. 
and our um, with the old module our turn signal was blinking extremely fast even though all the lights were working it was blinking, blinking way too fast so we only have two codes here seat adjustment I'll deal with that and tuner satellite radio nothing on the left hand lamp and just so you guys can see that everything works I'm gonna point this over there you can see our headlamp turns on we got our high beams and then we have our turn signal as well and it is at the right timing and on our dash it is also on the right timing as well which wasn't the case before all of this so well done top done uh, well done thanks for uh, actually let making me uh, making this job happen because otherwise we're still trying to get Otis fixed that takes time anybody who knows Otis uh, or has worked with it that you know that stuff takes time so a uh, huge thanks for knocking this one uh, out of the ballpark and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of this scan tool in the in these videos because uh, we do a lot of programming in this shop and uh, now I'm going to be curious as to what it can and can't do um, with all kinds of vehicles uh, Euro when it comes to programming Euros anybody who knows it can be a real pain without the factory scan tool you are dead in the water at times um, so wow hope you enjoyed this video I hope you see uh, the value of this tool I sure do and uh, if you have any questions be sure to leave it in the comment section thanks again for watching and uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you feel I've earned your subscription and uh, stay tuned for more of this stuff if you want to see more on the top down max there isn't much out there already uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and, and look into my uh, following videos uh, thanks again for watching and until next time